Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Thank you so much, everybody, for staying with us. Uh, we're back. Thank you so much for being with us. 8044022893 is the number to be down with us tonight. Uh, as I had promised, as I teased in the last segment, joining us on the live line for her monthly spot. We got my sister SY Butler on the phone. What's up, girl? Not much. It's good to talk to you. We got the whole crew here, Big Rube, JR, and Mr. LP. Say peace to them. Hello, man. What's going on? What up? Uh, not much, not much. I miss you, Rube. Too bad I'm not there to pick a fight with you, huh? Rube, she said uh, she's not here to pick a fight with you. I mean, I heard her. I mean, she ain't here. No, I don't got to talk to her. <laughs> she ain't here. I mean, she the one not you here. Know what I'm you see? But it's okay. I mean, you the one not here. That's your fault. That's a you problem. <laughs> where, where. So what we got this week, we doing the wealthy segment. And uh, why don't you tell uh, the listeners, ain't no how step with Marcus J. Live from the Dan Legacy Internet Radio, the flagship show. What we got going on in the wealthy segment tonight? Well, tonight I'm going to do the first part of a two-part segment on self-branding. So I said, we're ready. Go for it. Okay. Well, the first thing I want to start off with is saying, you know, whether whatever our business is, you know, chances are we've done something to help our brand, whether or not it's we've asked for help and have someone else design a, a, um, a mission statement, or we've got our business cards, we've, we've posted on Twitter, we've posted on LinkedIn. We've done all these things to help ourselves, but it's just not working. And the biggest thing you want to know is when you have an online presence and even on your resume. St- speaking, you- speaking to the mic, we lost you a little bit. Can you hear me? Yeah, we got you. Go ahead. Okay. One of the biggest things you want to remember is you want to have the right presence and you need to stand out from your competition. And when you have an e-presence, the best thing to do is work real hard at leaving the competition, I like to say, choking on your digital dust. So the first thing I'm going to discuss is making sure you know what you want to be known for. That's the first thing you need to know before you decide you want to brand yourself. So what is it that you you do or what is it that you want people to associate with your name? Now, a lot of us, you know, we may think that we have a lot of talent. So let's put it all out there and somewhere down the line, somebody's going to call me for something, whether, you know, I'm a great video editor, whether I'm a great event coordinator, or I just train dogs really well. So somebody's going to grab me for something, but that's a major no-no. What you want to do is you want to find what's your best at. Stick to that. You want to profile that, and that's the the name, that that's the um, work that you want to have attached to your name. You can't try to be all things to all people. You have to pick that interest, get your target audience, and focus on that. If you're not sure what that is, then stop and think about what it was in the first place that made you want to branch out on your own or made you want to look for this career. Something told you that you were great at this. So what was it? And think about whether or not that's really it. Um, If it is, go for it. Um, The second thing you want to do is share the right information. Now, um, you build your profile on LinkedIn, you're tweeting on Twitter, but you notice you don't have any followers. So there could be some pitfalls that you're falling into to prevent you from getting your followers. Now, over-promoting actually can be one of them. 
And not everybody, um, you know, wants to know uh, who the VIP is you sat next to, or you don't want to talk about a strategy um, that you did in the past or any other thing other than what you're going for. Let me let me stop let me stop you for a second because I got a question about that. Um, of course, here at Legacy Internet Radio, uh, I try and Stephen Sykes tries and Jay Grizzly and Lisa P and, and Mr. Sincere Big Root, uh, all the hosts uh, and co-hosts of the shows here, yourself included. Um, we all try to make a point of branding when we call out the names of our shows. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Not ain't no half stepping, but ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. And live in radio, the Green Room version 2.0 with Jay Grizzly and Lisa P, Legacy Internet Radio. We make a point of saying all those things in their entirety. But you said something a minute ago that kind of sparked a question when you said that you don't want to overexpose. Why don't you tell me what your thoughts are a little bit more about that, and then I'll have you get back to what you were saying. Well, what you're doing is you're branding Legacy Internet Radio. And these are all the different things, different shows that Legacy Internet Radio has. You want to say, you know, what you want to avoid, and what I'm speaking of is, let's say, uh, Legacy Internet Radio. Now, we have, you know, half stepping with Marcus J. We have in live and radio. We have the Green Room. We have all these different shows. But um, let's just say, for example, at Legacy Internet Radio, um, we also design sneakers, and we also write a newsletter in about, um, I don't know, kids playing soccer. This is not what you want to brand Legacy Internet Radio for, the soccer. You want to pick what you want to relate to. You sounded, you sounded muffled again. Speak back into the mic. Can you hear me? That's, that's better. Whatever you're doing, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> What you want to do is, is Legacy Internet Radio is about these different shows and all the things that different shows offer, stay there. Don't branch out into anything else that's being done behind the scenes at Legacy Internet Radio. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, like let's say I like to eat healthy. Sharon does this, that, and the other with eating healthy. What does that have to do with Legacy Internet Radio? Right. So so when we're talking about music, we're talking about Deep House Sessions with DJ Renee Melendez on Saturdays from 7 to 9. And we don't want to talk about how DJ Renee Melendez might do something else. We want to talk about how DJ Renee Melendez is doing Deep House Sessions with DJ Renee Melendez on it on Legacy Internet Radio. So keeping it to what we do and not trying to say too much is what it sounds like you're saying. Right, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Because the first thing you want to do, if somebody says Legacy Internet Radio, we don't want to be confused that what Legacy Internet Radio is about. We don't want to be confused with that. We want to know about all the programming and the shows that are offered point blank. Okay? We got you. Okay. So, the um, under the second part of some branding mistakes, um... Under promoting. Now, under promoting can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. But what you want to remember is nobody cares um, what food you ate. These things don't go on your page. These things don't go on your Twitter page for your business. Um, we don't care that you went to the beach. We don't care about any of those things. You want to steer away from those things. What you actually want to do is Put in little bragging rights for things that you've done to help promote your business. If that's the least that you can do, that's what you want to do. You don't want to put up your everyday posting like we see Facebook and Twitter does. And unfortunately, even if you do this on your personal page, if someone's looking into you for a business opportunity or for a job and we find your business page, we can't find your personal page. So you want to be careful with what's on your personal page as well. Um, that's another thing that you want to look out. Don't put up photos from the beach in your cute little bikinis or a uh, conversation that might have been a joke between you and your friends about other people or businesses. 
somebody's looking to work with you or business is looking to hire with you, hire you, this is what they're gonna see. This is your personal page, it's not your business page, but again, we can find it. So basically yeah. what you're saying is when you're looking to brand, you want to be consistent with whatever your, like your postings and things of like that. So it should be consistent with what it is you're trying to market. That's correct. Okay. So if you want to, if you want to market the fact that you're a, uh, gosh, I don't know, a, a talk show host who does socially conscious talk, you probably shouldn't be putting up pictures of you smoking weed and popping, popping bottles. <laughs> Not a good idea. Okay, I got, I got you. You sound a little muffled again. Stay with me. Okay, how's that? Okay, go ahead. I'm with you. Keep going. All right, so you want to be careful with that. Um, the best thing you can do, again, is just your personal page. Just pass on some good information to somebody, fabulous opportunities. Um, Sounding muffled. Sounding muffled. How's that? Have even moved. How's that? Okay, speak right into your mic because you're sounding low and far. Okay, how's that sound? That's perfect. Stay right there. Okay. <laughs> now, the third thing is if you're caught up in a career that you've already had, you want to stop, and I mentioned this earlier, you want to stop posting about a prior career. If this is not what you're looking to do, this is not the business that you're going into, it does not matter. The only reason that should be putting anything up about your past is if it relates to something that you're about to do for the future, for the career or for the job that you're working on now. And that's giving an example. If you're, let's say, a wedding coordinator, you can put in there that you've done a wedding for, I don't know, someone famous or maybe someone not so famous and how the outcome was. But you don't want to write about your job from the past. So you want to stay focused on the future and that's how anyone looking for you is going to um, want to find you. They don't want to hear about something else that you've done. They want to hear how you're working to do what your plans are for the future. Um, talk about how you want to replicate a great event that was done. Highlight some volunteer work that you, you know, you're going to do or that you want to do or you're looking to do, which would help you in what, you know, your goals are. Um, so for the fourth one, and this is a big one, your website. Now, you think that Facebook and LinkedIn or Twitter would be good enough, but they're not. Um, you actually need to have your own website. And it said that if you could have it, ideally the best thing to do would have your website be your name. Because if someone did a Google search, an employer or a potential business partner, um, did a Google search on you, your business would dominate when you do a name search. So if at all possible, that might be a great thing to look into, having your website be your name. Um, this is going to be the place where you can put all that there is to you. You don't have to overdo it, but this is going to tell everything about you. This is going to tell everything about your business. It's going to be either in a mission statement that you have or just some highlights into the experience um, for the work that you hope to do. Um, no need for lots of bells and whistles because, you know, nobody's really looking for anything fancy. Um, and again, I'm going to remind you, if you're a website, if someone's looking you up, watch all your other presences as well. The fifth thing is if you're hiding behind your computer. You want to remember to get yourself out there. Um, being on Facebook, being on Twitter, being on LinkedIn, all those things are great. Get your business card shined up and do some face-to-face -face meetings. Go out to anything that's related to the field that you want. Go out to any of those events that are happening. Meet people, have coffee, have tea, do a brunch. Get involved with the people that are in the industry that you want to work in. Those things are going to help you in the long run with what your goal is. Now, let me stop you there for a minute. Mr. L.P. Stephen Sykes has a question. Um, I, I wanted to more so um, add to that when you mentioned about your I, I website. I can't hear him. 
I, I'll, I'll feed it to you. Go ahead, Steve. I wanted to add uh, a couple of phases when you mentioned your website and your name, business name. It's very important to make sure that you double check with your individual state uh, uh, corporation to make sure that that name is not being used or you follow the guidelines with that name. Because there's nothing that hurts that you start a business or have something out there, and but the name is already being used and then you can end up being sued for a lot of money. Uh, so you need to verify that name. And also when you build your website, if you have different components that's part of your business or your entity, you need to make sure that's part of your keywords in your website. So when there's a search being done, for example, like in a legacy like internet radio, the keyword search needs to be on live in radio or ain't no half step in market J different words so that that where people can find you or the different things that you may do. But basically what he's saying is you need to make sure that when you're branding yourself for searches, make sure that you have certain words that are part of uh, your search. Uh, and the other thing is make sure that you when you're coming up with your name, uh, make sure that you do an appropriate search to make sure that it's not already taken so that you don't have any copyright infringement. Uh, things and things of that sort. Uh, let's go ahead and, and, and wrap it up and close here. Give us some final thoughts on here. Well, the last thing I just want to say is make sure that you keep your e-appearance updated. Um, whether you can do it daily, which is, you know, it, it's a little tough to do, or if you do it weekly, make sure that you keep it updated. The worst thing you want to do is have an opportunity pass you by because it's been some months since you've posted on your page, um, you could lose potential uh, work that way. You could lose a job that way. So you definitely want to stay up on your page. I'm going to post some articles that you can read and go through that I went through to just kind of piece together some of this information for you. But um, just remember some of those things, and maybe once we get out of those, we'll see things pick up for your career or for the business that you're in. Um, like I said, this is the first part. The second part, I'm going to go through some things that um, will help us a little more after we start, you know, not doing what's holding us back. You got it. Ain't no half step in Marcus. Jay, that's my sister, S.Y., on the live line with us. Hopefully, we'll have her back in studio next week to finish yeah. up uh, the second part of the wealthy segment with uh, with some more good information. Ain't no half step with Marcus J. That's why I hold the line for a minute. We're gonna take another break. When we come back, we got a little bit more. What the hell? We got a missing and or exploited child. We got a word from our sponsor. And at the end of the show, uh, before we finish up the show, I should say we're gonna end it up as we have been doing lately with your man Big Rube in the round table and knowing how it's been going i have every reason to believe that this week is going to be great uh as well we also expecting a special guest to join us here in studio ain't no half stepping we're marcus j we'll be back in a few minutes <laughs> 